but uh yeah i mean you're right now i mean we, we hear your love for the city we hear your love for what uh, you do here locally and and where you, what you're going to do here long term but right now you're in the the big, big middle of like one of the biggest deals you've ever done i think like talk to us talk us about that talk us through uh, that we just closed it uh last week uh, we call it was the Granville Towers. Uh, I mean, this is a, it's a 154 unit condo building built in the mid 60s. Beautiful, uh, beautiful building, build, beautiful project. Uh, uh, very like 30 unique. stories, right? This thing's huge. Uh, 28 stories. So our, yeah. our biggest deal yet when it comes to like one property. Uh, but the uniqueness about it was um, it was just um, it, I mean, the condo market is, uh, you know, it, it, there's it, the market is the thing started as an apartment building, right? And then it converted to condos in the, in the late, in the mid eighties, early eighties. And now we're bringing it back to apartments. But I mean, it just, it's a, it, it, it's, it, there's a reminder that there are a lot of condo properties that are, you step in, you're like, you're taking a time machine back to 1992, right? Uh, and if you're lucky, you're going to be in, in, in the millennium, right? Uh, so, and this particular one, which I really, which I felt I was willing to go through the time uh, necessary to make it work, to, to get the votes. Fortunately, there was a very, uh, the association um, was very um, uh, focused. Uh, they really wanted to get this done. Um, and then I made it easy for them. I, I gave them a pretty strong offer and I didn't let, I didn't try to nickel and dime them as rates went up. Uh, I didn't try to, uh, and I think they might, they think I, they left some money on the table with potential other offers thinking that the one that is serious, the one that has a reputation and the one that I think the property was very unique and special to them because we have a bunch of other properties in that area. Um, yeah, so we ended up getting it done. We closed it last week. Uh, we had a great, uh, some great 74% debt, uh, Heartland Bank, uh, very happy. First time doing a deal with them. They really stepped up. I have, I've used Justin Kennedy over there. Uh, Justin, great guy, uh, great team, never wavered as rates went up. It started at 6% and ended at seven and a quarter. Uh, so, but it's just, I'm at seven and a quarter. Now here it is, rate agnosticism uh, in, into play. I got to make this deal work for the next five years fixed for seven and a half. Can I do it? Seven and a quarter. I have to. And there it is. I just, you keep working it. And, um, and, and then if, you know, the opportunity of rates come back down, then you, you, you know, that's where the appreciation side of things go. But 